on the strip, it's out with the old and get ready for the new as employees, guests and dignitaries all say goodbye to the iconic Mirage. The volcano flaming out. Some last selfies taken at the lush atrium inside the Mirage as the resort closed its doors after an iconic 34 years on the strip. Come here and have a good time. Forget everything else that's going on. You're not going to get too crazy, but you're welcome to get as crazy as you want. That's Mirage co-founder Elaine Wynn, ex-wife of casino mogul Steve Wynn, talking about the promise the property was built on before she said her last goodbyes to the palace she helped build. If you can narrow it down, what will you miss most about the Mirage? I won't miss anything because I have the memories. I have, I have the luxury of having it be my lived experience. One of those memories from opening day. November 22, 1989, when the first guests rushed through the doors and then... They were so overwhelmed with their first impression that they spontaneously just started to applaud. And we looked at each other and said, we're getting a standing ovation. And that, Wynne says, was quite a moment, one that will stay with her forever, long after the resort is raised to make way for a fresh new Hard Rock International concept. I've never seen anything like that before or since. Today, Las Vegas is a major player on the global scene in entertainment, sports, and of course, gaming. And Jan Jones Blackhurst, who served as mayor of the city during the 1990s, says, The Mirage was the beginning of new Las Vegas. It gave us the vision of what we could be, who we could be, and we became that. With the slot machines now dark, Volcano shows history and the Mirage property set to become a major construction zone. Longtime Mirage employee Marvella Johnson. When I started here, a bus girl, day one. Reflected on her time at the Mirage, and she may have said it better than almost anyone. The Mirage was the bomb. Thank you, Mirage! It's been a nostalgic day out here as we all say goodbye to the Mirage. Elaine Wynn calling this ground right here the most precious real estate in Nevada other than the Hoover Dam. Reporting one last time from the Mirage, I'm Brian Horwath.